humans aren't born out of laying around on their asses. We've been born out of conquering a world. We're the dominant species. We built all this. We're powerful and we're beautiful and we're ready to build the next level of civilization in God's plan. But you must stop bowing to those who want to make you a victim. You must become the victor. If you love God and you want to build a pro-human future, then you are an enemy of the New World Order and Satanism. They want us shut down because we have the spirit. I'm jacked into the source. I know the secret and I want to see you empowered. But you have to believe in yourself first. This is the truth and everyone knows it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I've got another story for you about Ubisoft. Now, this isn't about their woke DEI initiatives, their substandard games, the way that they put out this just ridiculous lack of quality and try to justify it behind a wall of just platitudinal nonsense. No, we're not even going to be talking about the Ubisoft Plus, or, you know, not directly anyway, but... The reality is that this company has taken L after L after L. So, I ask you, what could possibly just sink them to that next level? To take a company that you already don't think very much of and just relegate them to the most garbage tier status of gaming companies. Well, unfortunately... I have to come before you and talk about this. Ubisoft is being sued for sharing user data with Meta without user's consent. You read that correctly. Now, this is just a lawsuit at this point. However, yeah, it's looking like they, they may have done this. And so, what I was thinking when I was reading this and when I was watching this clip from Asmongold that we're going to go over real quick. I'm starting to think that a lot of these companies, and this won't be a revelation to anyone who's watched my content before, but I'm thinking a lot of these companies adopt wokeness to try to shield themselves from the fact that they've done some pretty nefarious and despicable things that they are, in fact, evil corporations. But if they just adopt this demonic cult, they can pass themselves off as virtuous good people. Hey, if we're on the side of DEI and wokeness and identity politics, well, we can't be the bad guys. We've got to be the good guys. And, in fact, we can make other people the bad guys and consider ourselves to be righteous. And it's just, it's so transparent. It is so transparent, the fact that these people don't have a soul. They don't have any integrity. They don't have any decency. Because a lot of these companies, they wouldn't be in the position that they were, you know, that they're in now, that they have to sell data in order to try to recoup some of their losses if... If they just stuck to making games, they made good games, they made them innovative. You know what's interesting? You know, we're going to get into this, but I want to do a bit of an aside because I've been watching people play this game, this trading card simulator. And that game is just a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. People are enjoying it. And what's crazy to me is that the fact that this hasn't been something that's done by another company. There are so many good ideas. You know, I, I keep hearing about, well, you don't understand the cost of this. It's just so astronomical for gaming in, in 2024. There's nothing we can do. No, there are plenty of things that you can do, but you'd have to be innovative. You'd have to actually start thinking about what's fun. Not sending a political message, because if you're woke, if you're on the left, your political ideology is evil. It is a disgusting, anti-human abomination of an ideology, and it should be rejected with every fiber of every person's you know, humanity. So, 
I look at that and I just realize that these companies, they're doing this as a smokescreen. And unfortunately for them, it doesn't work. It really doesn't. Because, well, first of all, people are more and more realizing that wokeness is evil. But as they reveal more and more that this is an evil ideology from the far-left lunatics, your nefarious actions are also going to come to light, and you're going to be held accountable for them. Oh, Ubisoft, if it ain't Ubisoft with another frick up... No way. How does this happen again? Mm. Ubisoft is being sued for sharing user data with Meta without users' consent. Seems like their games don't generate them enough money, so they're selling players' data. What the fuck? Uh, the class action complaint reveals that the publisher of some of the most popular gaming franchises still active today has been sharing personally identifiable information with Meta every time a user purchases a game on the Ubisoft store or subscribes to its Ubisoft Plus service. Damn. And now it makes a little bit more sense why they've been pushing this service so much. And this is a hundred, guys, look at the price difference here. A hundred and ten dollars, the ultimate edition, if you subscribe to Ubisoft. So it's very God, clear that's that they're criminal. trying to use these high prices as a uh, funnel to get people to subscribe to Ubisoft Plus. Man, because they really have been pushing it a lot, haven't they? Okay, so because they didn't consent to it, maybe Ubisoft is going to have to pay out some money. Man, they're going to have to sell that Assassin's Creed game for $140 now. Assassin's Creed Shadow is unavailable for purchase. Is it really? Let me see. Yeah, is this true? Am I not able to buy the game? Damn, uh, actually it is true. Like, you literally cannot even buy this game. Man, that's something special, isn't it? That's really kind of surprising that they, they got rid of all of that. Uh, that's not looking too good at all, is it? Well, yeah, they pulled back the, uh, they pulled back the launch and refunded people's pre-orders. Man, yeah. <laughs> yep, that's, that's not great. No, and it goes to show that a lot of these companies aren't really even interested in games. They're, they're trying to sell you on a service. So I, I guess maybe the idea is they don't care how good the game is because they'll get you in with the name of the franchise. So Assassin's Creed, Star Wars, Outlaws. They'll get you in on the name Maybe you'll subscribe, and then they can sell your personal information to Mark Zuckerberg. So, from their point of view, it's a win-win. But it's not really. Ubisoft stock is in the toilet. We've gone over this. Their stock is just astonishingly low. You know, the only time that Ubisoft stock has raised in the last couple years has been talk of Ubisoft being sold to a Chinese company. Yeah, Tencent. People are more... People are buoyed by the idea that Tencent, a Chinese just juggernaut, is going to own Ubisoft rather than the French. <laughs> But yeah, what, what what just an unbelievable series of failures from this once giant company. I mean, it, it really is it really is astonishing when you think about it. When you really analyze something like this, it just it becomes so clear that a lot of these companies have been filled with utter garbage. They don't care about gamers, they don't care about gaming. They're just looking to make money. And it would be one thing if they were making money off of making, like, really, really good games. But they're trying to make money in these back-alley, shady, nefarious ways while pumping their franchises with these woke steroids that nobody wants. Like, there's no universe where a team of people that have the best interest of Assassin's Creed in mind get together and... And say, we're going to make an Assassin's Creed game in Feudal Japan. 
and the main character is going to be black. We're going to pick this obscure bit of uh, Japanese history where some some slave, some nobody, there was a curiosity for a, a you know a warlord. We're we're gonna have him be the main character in in feudal Japan. You would have to be insane. You would have to be insane to think that that is what your audience would want. But they do it. And then they wonder why they fail. You wouldn't need to be this evil and go to selling people's user information if you just made good games. Do you know what company I don't think would ever do this despite people in the West hating their guts is Nintendo. Now, I could be totally wrong, but I don't think that Nintendo would do something like this because they don't have to. Despite all of the outrage that Nintendo basically doesn't let people in the West do whatever they want with their IP, you know, Nintendo shuts down mods that take Breath of the Wild and turn it into a multiplayer game. Nintendo comes out and says, we don't want emulators or emulations as it relates to our games. They come out and basically lay down the law and set up their guidelines and set up the things that they want, sometimes extremely over the top. But at the end of the day, as much as you may hate them, as much as you may not like them, they still make great games and they still have amazing IPs and they're still coming out with new ideas. Like, Splatoon, for example, that was an idea that came out of nowhere. Nintendo's like, well, we want to enter the uh, the first person shooter scene or the you know the third person shooter scene. We, we we want to enter the shooter scene, but we're gonna do it in our own way. And they made a smash hit. It's uh, it, it's actually really fascinating, and they didn't have to resort to things like this. So, Ubisoft. Um, I don't really know if there's any, I don't even think I could pull you out of this. I gotta be honest. I'm usually pretty optimistic about the fact that if I were put in charge, I could pull them out because the decision making behind this wouldn't really be that difficult to do. I mean, to fix a lot of these companies, all you'd have to do is fire the people who are woke. You just have to basically go through like Anakin Skywalker order 66 ing the Jedi Temple. That's basically what you'd have to do. You'd have to walk in with a team of security guards and just point them out and, and get them out. But in this case, I don't know how you recover. Your stock is, is in the toilet. Your morale has never been lower. You need a purging of the executives in your company. Nearly all of them. Because clearly there are a lot of problems. And at this point, it can only be something that comes from the top. So, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Asman calls it, Ubi, uh, Asman's editor calls it, Ubisoft can't catch a break. No, they can't catch a break. But that's by their own, that's by their own actions. It reminds me. It reminds me of the Simpsons, where where Sideshow Bob. He keeps stepping. <laughs> he keeps stepping on the rakes. You remember that? Uh, is that am I am I dating myself there? Being rare is embracing every version of yourself. Oh, gross. By the way, being rare is embracing every... No, it's not. Every version of yourself is not the most stunning and brave and miracle thing. Some of yourselves, as we see from Ubisoft, should not be accepted.
Yeah, Ubisoft. There you go. Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, I don't really have much more to say on Ubisoft. I've already talked about their bad decision-making, their poor leadership. I've talked about their adherence to the woke cult, identity politics, far-left radicalism. They've adopted a lot of this into their games. You know, Star Wars Outlaws was another example. But it's more than just that. It's Their games are substandard when it comes to graphics, when it comes to gameplay, when it comes to originality, when it comes to design, creativity, passion. They are lackluster in all categories. They don't excel at anything. There's no innovation. There's no... There's no game from Ubisoft where I look at that and go, yeah, you know, they've got a team of people that care about what they're doing and are clearly in it for the long haul and really want to establish something that's going to basically outlive them. They want to create new franchises. They're not really creating another Assassin's Creed. They're just trying to milk Assassin's Creed for all it's worth because what has been said and is totally true, is that evil cannot create. It can only destroy. It can only replicate itself, and that's absolutely true. Anyway, that'll do it, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching. See you next time.